right, good afternoon everybody. Double A farm. You can see I'm out here with the 1135 tractor. Take the top off of it today. It's causing, causing some headache. It is a it's a low top. It was a golf cart top at one time. Canada golf cart canopy that was on top of it disintegrated over time because of course it being plastic so it disintegrated so had that massive Ferguson 360 to burn up years ago we had this here it had this top on it here it was on top of the roll bar protection system on the 360 so I figured it would fit, and it did. So I uh, took it off the 360, brought it out here, and put it on this track. And it fit in well. Just really didn't didn't have no way to really brace it or nothing. Fit right inside the frame. But that's about it. Had no way to brace it, so I had to take a ratchet strap. Ratchet strap it sort of down. To the top of the track so, but anyway it is causing some headache because it does sit canopy you know it ain't it ain't tall really as tall as a canopy on a tractor is supposed to be and so this is sitting down this harder than that golf cart top was and the golf cart top probably was up a, a little higher as well so anyway it's causing that was a little bit of headache, sir. I know. Gonna get it off of here. Certainly glad I would I did that. Do I would have got my bath? I done took one today. So, I'm glad I did that. So, slide this off. Take it and put it in storage. Go from there and just have a open cannon on this tractor. Now on. Booger is not light whatsoever. But by myself as usual. Nothing big to it. You just have to be careful. You have to be careful. Do what you can do. And it'll come off. Just like it did there. Now I'm gonna take the I had to fabricate a few little pieces on this to make it fit. Maybe fabricated some brackets over here. Got a U-bolted on the back here. So I'm just gonna undo all that. Take the whole top off because there ain't no reason to have that up there if you're not gonna have anything else on top of it. Get that off real quick. It is a gorgeous day in the south. Beautiful, beautiful day. Week of Christmas. So looking forward to that. Vacation. So 
do with this. I just took, it's got a piece going across the bottom there where it sat on the golf cart. And uh, I just took, popped me some holes in here with the drill. Bought me some small U bolts. And it has worked pretty good over the years. Like I said, it was pretty ideal with the golf cart top on it worked good but I reckon the whole getting that sort of metal top on it it's got a piece of hard pad on it I reckon that's about the best thing so we'll take it off go from there Gonna be good tonight. Ribeyes in the smoker. Mmm. Looking good. the 1135 is now topless <laughs> uh, this is the next day um, I ended up having to as soon as I got the top taken off yesterday I ended up having to run back to the house uh, having a little issue and so I had to, to get back to the house I didn't, I didn't get back out here so this is the next day but anyway I did get the, the top off the 1135 so Looks a little different, of course, without a top being topless, but I've seen it that way for many years. So it's back to its original way. So but anyway, I want to give you a little little update on that. So of course, I'm on the skid steer over here. I'm going to pick up the back half of the disc here. So I got y'all mounted on the skid steer. Let y'all watch as I get that disc and get it moved back into place we got a two two part disc it's a little bar hair but it's got a back portion with it too i don't know how many disc blades it is we'll count those up in a little bit so um i'm gonna marry my uncle wants the two parts married together so i'm out here getting a move so
said, like you said, there's a back portion of this. That's the oldest piece I've ever known. That don't fit. I'm not married with that. Looks like it was married with it. But it ain't gonna marry there. That won't work at all. And the way I see it. So again, that's uh it's only got four discs and that disc has got five on each side so he said there was a back half somewhere but it ain't this that's what i was thinking so i don't know that anyway i'm gonna set this pull this back out of here set it somewhere off to the side because i don't think that's what i was looking for folks we got a little bit of stuff done outside so we'll finish up this video here in the house finishing up some supper i'm gonna make an old we got their steaks i'm gonna make an old family classic here we got uh two four six seven potatoes and i'm slicing them i don't know about that thin as you can see there um, and i've got me some cornmeal in my bowl got my trusty old avocado oil so all we cook with is avocado oil better for you uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna roll these in this cornmeal we used to do this my mama used to do this man golly you something about something good just roll them potatoes in that cornmeal just stick them down in your oil and then you put a little salt and pepper on top of them that is some kind of good nothing to it i mean just like i said just peel your potatoes slice them up like i said about an eighth of an inch thick there it's all in a frying pan and then just roll them in just some regular old cornmeal i got like I said, white cornmeal so all i use white self-rising cornmeal ain't nothing in it whatsoever i'm gonna come at the bag of cornmeal itself just roll them around, put them in that oil. And this makes a good side dish. Man, it's gonna go good with them smoked steaks. I pulled them off, got them in the microwave, just trying to stay warm. Letting them rest. 
This is a perfect, perfect little side dish. I ain't had these things. I don't know when I have had these potatoes like this. My mama used to do these a lot when I was growing up. I see, there ain't nothing to it, but it just changes your way your potatoes taste. Putting that cornmeal on them and then frying them up like that. I mean, it just makes a, it's just totally, totally different. So, like I said, nothing to it makes us a great, great side dish or whatever. Cook this with fish. I've had it with fish before. It's like I said, about anything you want potato for, and you want to do something different. You're tired of mashed potatoes. You're tired of baked potatoes. Whatever. I mean, cut them up, throw them in some cornmeal. Another way we have done them before is just take slice them like this and just throw them in a pan like that and just fry them up. I did. Sweet potatoes like that the other night. I don't know what we had. Um, I think we had black eyed peas. No. I forgot what we had. And I sliced sweet potatoes like that. Put some avocado oil in the bottom of the frying pan. Threw the potatoes all in there. And then take just, take just regular old white granulated sugar. And throw on top of them and just let them fry. Man. Mm. It's so good. So good. So, like I said, these right here, these are just extraordinary. Because you get that crunk cornmeal crust on them potatoes. I mean, it's just changes the, changes the whole dimension. About like fried squash, really and truthfully. Uh, you just ain't using squash, you're using a potato. So. Anyway, I got the, got the frying pan full over there. As you can see, frying pan's full of them. I'm gonna keep, keep cooking these up here. I'm gonna rest these potatoes and I'll be back whenever I get the finished product done. Well, folks, got it finished off. Here's these potatoes. I mean, they're beautiful, nice golden brown. Beautiful. Like I said, give these a try. Like I said, ain't nothing but cornmeal. I put some salt and pepper on them after I got them in the frying pan with the oil. So that's all that is. And then we got our smoked steaks. Mm. These things are going to be good right there. So good supper. Good supper right there coming to us. So. Anyway, it's going to wrap this video up. Hope everybody's had a great day. Uh, hope everybody continues to have a good week as we're leading into Christmas and uh, enjoying this Christmas season and the things that are that the Christmas season is all about. So appreciate everybody walk, watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment. Please share the videos. And thanks to all the subscribers we've gotten here lately. I certainly do appreciate it. So. Uh, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and God bless each and every one of you.